Hi, I'm James Anderson. In a moment, I'm going to read Old Selves by Ira Sadoff. But first, briefly, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Ira Sadoff. I've known him since, well, I first met Ira when I was 20, maybe 21. His first book, Settling Down, had come out to amazing reviews, and he came uh, to Reed College where I was a student and the thing was is that Ira, Ira spent all kinds of time with the students. Uh, he spent um, a fair amount of time talking to me. Uh, what, what really strikes me looking back and, and even at the time was Ira made me feel like I was worth talking to and worth listening to. Um, so that book of poems, uh, Settling Down, was just one of those uh, essential, pivotal books uh, for me. And uh, now Ira has uh, Country Living coming out, uh, now what, four, almost five decades later. Uh, and because of this sort of free-floating weirdness that we have, he's not going to be able to get out, as all of us uh, have in the past, to, um, to read the poems and whatnot. So a number of us got together and decided that we would read our favorite poems from his new collection. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do. But I, I wonder. to... Maybe some of you know this quote from Mark Twain. It goes something like this. Uh, I have reached that age where the only events I remember clearly never occurred. Well, I have my hardcover first edition, and I distinctly remember Ira signing this to me in... 1975, to James Anderson, one of our finest young poets. Turns out he never said that at all. I hope I do this poem justice. Congratulations on country living, Ira. Okay, I no longer want them, the many selves I had to manage that exhausted everyone. I believed in angels then, thought I might be one. That would be me, flying off on a tangent just to land on someone's balcony. But so little could I see from there. I longed for company with wings. Too often I took flight just to feel the air slap my cheek.